Good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. Hashtag my global family. <laughs> good morning, family. Good morning, and happy Monday. This is Drea Veda, coyote walking in this world, a real life Estelano Pueblo superhero, proud to spirit indigenous warrior. It's Monday. It is the week after Thanksgiving. We survived the turkey, the stuffing, the fun, especially if you spend quality time with the ones you love. This coyote also did something brave over Thanksgiving break, family. I have a silver medal. <laughs> yes! I took up Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu family at age 41. Not very many people do it. And you are um, promoted by belt, which means that I roll with other people who have learned Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the last two years. So this coyote is proud to be representing Gracie Bada Albuquerque family. I kicked butt on national and got my butt kicked, <laughs> but that's okay. I took second place in my category family, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt, super heavyweight family, which means I'm rolling with everyone who's over 175 pounds. This coyote weighs in at 190, family. <laughs> the competition is super fierce, but that's okay, family, because I stepped on the mat and not only took out my first opponent, shout out to my Gracie Bada sisters in Arizona. You guys are amazing and fierce. Um, after I won silver family in my bracket, which is adults, blue, female, super heavyweights, I also signed up at the last minute on ground for the open gi match, which is anyone who is a blue belt. And believe me, family, these ladies are fierce. <laughs> I took on um, a 16 year old who had been training for seven years, who had 22 wins family. This coyote was made into a pretzel after five minutes. <laughs> My last match, my fourth match of the day, family. Whew. And after going for four matches, you really get worn out. So I was given in my all, but I got my butt kicked by a 25-year-old family with 29 wins. So let's be honest, family. Sometimes you just got to put yourself out there, even though you know you are outclassed and outmatched. It's okay. You can do it for the experience and to say that, yes, I gave it my all. <laughs> so family, thank you so much to my Gracie Bada family, to my family and friends, to my amazing sis Naritza, Jose, um, our niece and nephew, Elias and Narisa, the love of my life for always being there for me, especially when I'm doing something brave. And let's admit it, family, not even scary. <laughs> ah, it was a wonderful, oh no, I lost one of my butterflies. <laughs> it was a wonderful experience, family. And now I got a whole set. So I have bronze medal, I have a double bronze family. I actually was not able um, to get that one because I didn't know I even got it. It was my first tournament over, I didn't know how it worked. I also have a gold family and now I have a silver. So let's just say this coyote now has a full set and I'm gonna keep on going family. Sky's the limit. So I'm just saying family, life is an adventure. What do you do to make you shine bright? What hobbies, what moments of zen, what places of peace do you participate in that help you shine bright? I'm just saying, family, life's an adventure. Have fun, become brave, become fierce. This coyote has anxiety, depression, PTSD, OCD, ADHD family. Every day is a struggle, but that's okay because you are never alone. We are always and forever with family. You know, this coyote is going to be Dr. Dre and May family. <laughs> My professor at Academic Dad Seed is kicking me out and pushing me on. And that's okay, family. I was bullied, stalked, harassed, hazed online, and made suicidal in October of 2022, 2021, excuse me. But that's okay, family, because they couldn't stop me. There is no power in this verse that can stop this coyote. I'm on a mission from my ancestors to transform this world family. And I'm here to tell you there's always hope. There is always change as long as we have passion in our hearts and we keep moving forward. So join me, family. Let's make the most of our Mondays. I also have a brand new time, family. I'm shooting for 930. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Are you ready to do this? Are you ready, family? I am gonna put 15 minutes on the clock. We are gonna do our thing and get ready for Monday. 
as we are relaxing, as we are getting ready for the day, I want you to think about what goals you have. Today's theme is all about hope for our futures family, hope in our hearts to make sure that we can continue to thrive. So join me, family. Let's get this done. <laughs> 15 minutes on the clock. We do do um, chair yoga on Mondays, family. I'm thinking of adding another time slot on Fridays, but I don't know yet. Drop it in the comments. Do you guys want to see me once a week? Do you guys want to see me twice a week? What do you think is going to work for your schedule? All right. Sit up straight, family. Remember, you are a puppet. Your back is straight and tall and you are extending your spine. Let's take five deep breaths. Ready? Two more, family. Last one, make it count. Ooh, feels good, family. Okay, we are gonna start with our next circle. Join me, family. We're gonna follow our nose, follow our nose, follow our nose. Okay, let's go to the left five times and then go to the right, starting out small with our circles, getting bigger as we go along. Ready? Let's do it. One. Two, three, a bigger family, four, ooh, let's make it nice and big, five, I love it. Let's come back and let's go in the other direction. Don't forget five circles, starting small, getting big. One. Three, four, and five. Ooh, did you hear that neck? <laughs> neck pop. It's always good when we stretch our necks, family. All right, family, let us do our notes. We are saying no to anxiety. We are saying no to pain, we are saying no to doubt, we are saying no to fear, we are saying no to hate, we are saying no to sadness. All right, family, now let us go ahead and do our yeses. So we're doing exaggerated nods, getting a nice stretch in the back of our neck, as we say yes to hope, as we say yes to love, as we say yes to sunshine. Let's go outside and get some vitamin D, family. <laughs> as we say yes to some yoga, as we say yes to positive energy, as we say yes to new opportunity, and as we say yes to the success that we are going to have in our lives, family. <laughs> All right, let us take our hands, place your left gently on your waist. Sorry, family. My shirt has a mind of its own. <laughs> Placing your hip, your left uh, hand on your hip. Right hand, come over, 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 family. And let's do a stretch. Look gently up into the sky. Your right arm, ooh, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Do you feel it, family? This coyote can feel the stretch. Woo, come back to center and release. Switch sides, your right paw is now. Um, hand on your hip. Bringing your left arm over. Gently look to the sky while you glance up. <laughs> can you guys hear my back? Woo, popped another muscle. Feels so good, the family. Feels so good. Ooh, yeah, feel it, feel it. All right, come back to center, family. Arms wide out, palms up. 
we are going to make sure you have a grounded seat family open your legs a little bit we're going to go up and over as if we're holding a beach ball over our head shout out to yoga with adrian family where i learned how to start yoga i fell in love beach ball over our head we're going to do a forward fold bending at the waist you're going to go forward until we get up on the ground your paws will be touching the ground if you can if you can't touch the ground family that's totally fine do what you can do what you can do what you can Woo. let's take three deep breaths here ready one two three sounds good family all right let's bring our arms back use those core muscles and come back up put your arms over your head rain it down rain your fingers down and come into a nice little stretch here family goal posts right i don't know what this pitchfork maybe your head is the third uh, time all right family you are going to gently pull back so see how your arms your arms we can get to this position a different way come back out and up pull your shoulders back and down so let's sit here for a second family i want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together see how my arms are back and down squeeze them together let's hold that for one Woo! build a burn two <laughs> three four and five i love it family sweep your hands over your head again come back to that beach ball position and rain your fingers down i love it i love it now take your left paw and gently put it on your right leg take your right paw and let's circle it around and do a nice little twist family you are gently looking over your shoulder gently looking over your shoulder <laughs> i can feel a stretch not only in my ribs in my neck in my back it feels good all right let's come back to center family switch sides right paw left leg left arm going back gently looking over your shoulder Ooh, feels good family feels so good feels so good Ooh, feel the burn feel the stretch coming back to center family Good job. You're kicking butt and taking names. Kicking butt and taking names. Don't forget to congratulate yourself, family, when you do good. You do good all the time, and we forget to say so. All right. We're going to do a little leg work. Lifting up your left leg. And gently make a sling for it. We're going to do some ankle twists, ankle circles. Go to the left. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten let's go in the other direction one two three four five six seven eight nine ten love it gently plays back on the ground family let's switch sides go on the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen oops sorry family <laughs> kept counting let's go in the other direction one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten <laughs> there goes that adhd family i can get off track sometimes if you have adhd or you're neurodiverse like me don't worry family i have some strategies that will help you this coyote also offers life coaching specializing in working with trauma survivors and those who are neurodiverse hit me up family all right we switched sides now we are going to do um ankle stretches so flex Flex down, that's one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, family. These simple um, stretches can go a long way, family. So if you're sitting at a desk, if you're sitting at a table, um, you have a sedentary lifestyle, think about adding five to 10 minutes of this like two times a day. You're gonna feel so much better and your body will thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good job family we're gonna put it down we are gonna work a little bit on our knees so i have a bad knee family my right knee is so mad at me most of the time it's very uncomfortable it doesn't really like me so i've been working on exercises can help me stretch it so we are going to do um stretching our knee circles so i want you to make the widest circle you can rotating your knee you're still holding it up, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, family. Let's go in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, 10. Gently place back on the ground. Why do I stretch my knees, family? This knee hurts, <laughs> it's in pain. One, but the more I stretch it, two, three, four, five, the more it feels, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. The more flexible it gets, one, two, three, ooh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, replace back on the ground, family. That really does help out my knees because I do have a bum knee. So stretching it really helps out a lot. All right, family, we are gonna pick up our left thigh and squeeze it as close as we can, as much as we can. We're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go ahead and release it to the ground. Sorry, family. My computer is telling me something. <laughs> All right, family. Picking up a right leg and bringing it in. We're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, and then the one. Good job. We are going to do a modified family, a modified warrior pose. So taking the socks off for this one, family. <laughs> it's cold. I don't know about if it's colder you are, but it's cold in New Mexico. So I have socks on. <laughs> I wear layers, family. I'm always cold. Okay. But because I want better traction, I took my socks off so I can make sure that I am supporting my body and not have any accidents. Family, when you are exercising at home, please make sure you remain safe and keep, you know, take precautions. Don't do anything on anything slippery. Make sure the chair that you're using is nice and solid, etc. Make life easier. <laughs> All right, family. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a modified warrior. So from the sitting position, you are going to take your left leg and go like this, like you're doing a superhero pose. Oh, you're going to take your right leg and you're just gonna hold it up here. So you're making this little, um, if we were standing, right? If we were standing, we'd be going like this. So we are trying to emulate the same move, but from the seated position. If you would prefer family, please, by all means, go ahead and stand up for this. So right now you have your left leg out and it is at a 90 degree angle, supporting your weight. You have your right leg down, arms out and stay. We're opposing family. Welcome to Warrior, Modified Warrior. All right, let's stay here for five, four, three, 
two, and then the one. All right, bring your arms in. Namaste. <laughs> bring your feet in. Come back to center, family. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. So my right leg now goes out like this. Don't forget, it is still at a 90 degree angle so that it can support me. Whew, our timer is going off, family. I see you. <laughs> All right, your front leg is supporting you. Your back leg is supporting you. Our arms are going out wide, family. And we are in warrior modified for five, four, three, two, and then the one. Bring your hands together at your heart. Scoot your legs back together and let's get back to a seated position that's comfortable, family. All right, we have used our five, our 15 minutes. I'm gonna go and put five more minutes. <laughs> it's not like your alarm in the morning. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm like, five more minutes. <laughs> All right, arms out wide. We're gonna do some circles, family. I want you to start out small. One, two, three, get bigger as we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, come back. We're gonna do small circles going in the same uh, opposite direction, family. Getting small to go big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. <laughs> All right, family. Come on over to the side. Woo! I love this stretch. Let's hold it. Give your arm a little massage. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release. Arms out again. Let's do the side. Massage, massage, massage. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back out, family. Let's go back up and over. And we're going to do that forward fold again. Come on back down to the ground, family. When you're in this position, nod your head, yes. Nod your head, no. Nod your head, yes. Family, keep one hand on the ground. Your right paw is holding you up. Bring your left paw, whoo, ha ha, all the way up and look to the sky. Whoo, feels good. Feel that stretch. Replace your hand, family. Supporting you again. We're going to go to the other side. <laughs> Left paw reaching for the sky. Right paw, sorry. Right paw reaching for the sky. Oof, looks good, feels good. Come back down to center. Both arms up over. Big beach ball overhead. Arms flow down. Come back to center. One more stretch on your side, family. Right paw to left knee. Coming around. Looking, looking, looking over your shoulder. Coming back to center. Other side. Oh, yeah. Looking over your shoulder, looking over your shoulder. Come back to center, family. Ground yourself, center yourself. Bring your hands up to your heart. Bow your head, acknowledge how amazing you are, how brilliant, how beautiful, how handsome, how there is no one else in this entire existence that is like you. You are our ancestors' dreams come true and you are the hope and reality of past generations and yet you will bring the change needed for future generations. You are a leader. You are a person who is worthy of love, dignity, and respect. Go into this world with peace and love and joy in your heart. Bow your heads and acknowledge the wonderful you.
<laughs> Family, this was amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Today is a great day. Today is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. What are you going to do today, family? It's the last week of November. Can you believe that? What? I know, right? Everything is going so fast. Sometimes I'm like, what? 2023? What happened to you? <laughs> Family, I am a coyote that is kind of behind. It's been a while since I've been doing my indigenous warrior yoga. So guess who started, forgot to start with my slides. <laughs> That's okay. It's also a great way to end. So don't forget, family, this coyote is going to be seeing you here on Mondays at my new time, 9.30. We're going to do our 20 minutes of yoga zen and do our check-in. I am, again, your host, Drea Beta, real life a Pueblo superhero, proud two-spirit indigenous warrior. I am here on Facebook at 9.30 Mountain Time. <laughs> I was running a little wide, because you know me in Red's time, we're like this. <laughs> why indigenous warrior yoga? Honest to God, family, why not? Indigenous people can do yoga, anyone can learn. Reminder, I'm not a yoga instructor family. Rather, I am a public figure in Indian country who has lost and kept off 110 pounds. I was 220 to 290 pounds my entire adult life family. I was dying at 35. Now at 42, I am a real life superhero. Romaling what's possible. So when we do this yoga or you take in any exercise routine, please don't do anything hurts. Make sure you see a doctor for medical advice before you change your diet, before you change your exercise routine, anything drastic family. You wanna make sure it's okay for you and your body. Don't forget family, not only does this coyote love you, but let's learn how to love ourselves. And I know, believe me, that is very hard to do. This coyote still works uh, because I shame myself. I have a negative image about my body, about my capabilities. Sometimes I let PTSD or my anxiety take over my life. And then I have to remember that I am super. <laughs> so family, join me on this amazing journey called life where we learn how to love ourselves. Don't forget family, our health matters and we can make change at any age. Join me in romanting what is possible. I am hashtag making 42 look great. Capped off that 110 pounds. Also compete and train in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Mexico, who will be Dr. Dre in May. And I got to update this family. I hit 31,000 followers this week. Woohoo! <laughs> Help me reach 20,000 on LinkedIn family. I'm currently at 19,200. But you know this coyote, I'm going to take over the world. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, think of sponsoring by donating to my PayPal, andrea.beta at gmail.com. Follow me on social media and join my global family. Together, family, we are going to make change. We are going to transform this world. We're going to learn to love ourselves and pass that light on forward. This coyote is proud to be a public figure, a vlogger, a researcher, a critical race, whiteness, intersectional scholar, an international graduate student leader who has brought $187,000 of value to my constituents and had over 32 leadership roles in the last six years. I am a powerhouse family. Join me in taking over the world one day at a time, one conversation, one experience, one loving interaction at a time. In addition to all that jazz family, don't forget this coyote is all about balancing your mind, body, and spirit. So in addition to being a warrior, a published author, a public figure, a vlogger, I am also a spiritual leader. I'm working on church services, family. You're telling me I'm working on it. <laughs> Check out Friday though. I am very, very, very close to making it happen on Friday. In the meantime, join me here for our daily prayer in which we ask our ancestors for their blessings and guidance. Gammy, 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 gammy. As we burn the sage, as we participate in ceremony, let us let go of the anxiety, let us go of the fear, let us let go of everything and everyone, all of the voices, all of the stress, all of the pain that has told us that we are not worthy, that we are not enough, because we are. <laughs> As my gammy says, we are, we are full of love, we are full of life, 
We are ancestors' dreams come true family in this world that does not love us, that does not accept us because we are marginalized, because we are different, because we are people of color, because we are queer, because we have a mind of our own that refuses to be silenced. Please be at peace and know that you do the work you were sent here to do, that the change that you make, that the pain that you face is a moment in time and you will heal. Gammy, today our prayer is all about hope for our future, our family here united. As the holidays are upon us, there are many of us who don't have enough food, who are homeless and struggling, who are plagued by doubt and depression and anxiety because this world is traumatizing to us. So Gammy, as we look at our futures, send us that hope. Send us the joy. Send us the will to keep on thriving. Yami, you're my first example of warrior woman. Send us your courageous spirit to guide our people, to guide our leaders. I love you, Gami. And I know you watch over our adventures every day. Papa, now Papa, I love you. And I miss you. And yes, family, I always say that he was the heart, the food, the care, the safe space that kept our family together. And we need those places. We need those people, Papa. Send us those people who help lift up our spirits and allow us to continue to keep fighting as the warrior leaders that we are. COVID is still affecting all of our families. Family, this is your daily reminder. But if everything is not okay right now, it is not you. It is COVID, it is capitalism, it is white supremacy, it is racism. There are genocides going on in the world right now, family. So I'm just saying there's a lot going on. So please remember to be kind to yourself and to each other. Papa, send us those places, send us those people who are going to raise our spirits and make sure we can continue, continue going forward. I love you and I hope the cape is good. <laughs> to my great great grandpa Pablo made a true revolutionary in a subtle public statesman, to all of our aunties, uncles, cousins, gammies, those who've come before us, you were taken too soon. But that's okay because we know all we have to do is open our minds, open our mouths, open our spirits, and you listen and guide us. Send us your blessings as we continue to be your warrior people here on this earth. <sighs> yes, family, are you ready for Monday? This coyote wants to remind you that you are amazing, powerful, brilliant, and worthy of love, dignity, and respect. I'm off to go cause trouble at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu family. It is Monday and I got training on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I'm going to go learn how to become fierce. Join me, family. We are strong. We are powerful. There ain't no power in the verse that can stop this coyote. <laughs> so join me. Let us become brave. Let us become community leaders and role model what's possible every single day. Life's an adventure. Go with family and join this coyote and take it over. <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. I love you guys so much. Today, I'm super excited to shout out to my bestie, Kyla. We're going to go try parkour classes, family, at the Ninja Force on 4th Street. It's like a ninja training academy. They got adult classes and kids classes. This coyote can't wait. It's going to be my third parkour class. I'm getting fierce, <laughs> making 42 look great. I'll see you later, family. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, love you, love you. Let's go kick this week's butt. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm a goofball, but that's cool because you know what, family? I am myself 100% of the time. So join me, family. Be yourself and see what happens. Have an adventure.